All right, now a video for, uh, I guess, a little plane. Um, it kind of looks like one of the spy planes. I forget um, what it was called, but of course I don't mean one within the G.I. Joe um, world. I just mean in real life um, world. should have looked it up on the web, but just how it's in this almost triangle, triangle shape. Um, this one, again, you know, being a jet, it's gray. You know, maybe that's a common color. But you can see it pretty much matches up with its big brother, the Thunderwing. Um, and this one, unlike the Thunderwing, does come with Ace. And it's just a little um, plane. And I'm thinking this came from the Alpha-sized um, vehicles. And just for um, those that don't know, um, an Alpha vehicle is what Hasbro sells in order to, of course, make money, but also I try and find the positives. So um, they make um, this size vehicle for families or kids that can't afford the bigger 20 to 30 or $40 toys um, that these can run up to. So... These are usually um, about half the price of that. So I think like these um, ones nowadays, because of the movie, and they're trying to make some more money for the movie, are running about $15 a piece. Um, I'm not sure how much this um, one cost when I bought it, but um, it does have another um, sound feature to it. And unfortunately, I won't be able to show you that because... Um, it must have died. I did not um, play with it um, to make it do that. I don't know, maybe if just having it sitting in a certain way, or maybe it fell or something. And, but anyway, so I would like to be able to show you that sound, but I can't. Um, I don't know about you, but right in there is three watch batteries. Not sure how many people have that many watch batteries um, lying around, and maybe they're not that expensive, but um, normal um, double A and triple A, you can use those and interchange those, but um, unless you really have a lot of vehicles that have watch batteries, or you have a lot of watches, um, that doesn't really help much. But anyway, what you would have done is you would have pushed these buttons right here, and just like its big brother as a thundering, the um, Tiger Hawk um, has these missiles underneath, and you would push on one of those buttons. So let's try and do that. And there, a missile fell off. Um, so then you would take another one of these, even though it's much smaller than the one that just um, fired, and that goes in to the peg or hole right here. And again, it's not as hard as it looks. Just trying to do this um, one-handed. So let's try and show you that one more time. So there's the missile. And there it went flying. Um, so anyways, this is the bigger one that goes in there. And then let's get that little one. Right there. So I'm missing the other one that goes on the other side because there's actually two of these and one of these on each side of the plane. So I'm sure that would have made sound um, releasing the bombs, but I'm not sure. I do remember that um, this one, if it will do it, it gets caught every once in a while, but it's supposed to do a barrel roll gimmick. So instead of a child going like this and not being able to totally do it all the way, um, you would push this button right here and let's hope it works. And nope, it doesn't want to work for me. Alright, let's see. Alright, 
let's try this again. So it gets caught every once in a while. And it knows I'm on camera or something because it is not cooperating. There we go. So there, it rolls by itself. Or is supposed to. So anyway, it gets caught. Um, and that would have made a um, sound every single time um, you pushed on the button. Now the cool thing about doing this um, Tiger Hawk next and having the Thunder Ring next to me is I can show you like I did in the Thunder Ring um, video. This is um, Slipstream. And he has his little mask that comes on, and that um, hose goes into his um, chest piece right here. So, anyway, so there's Slipstream. Then, if you pop off Slipstream's head, or not head, actually, <laughs> helmet. We'll try and get a close-up look of his face. So, there's Slipstream. And again, I said in the other video that Slipstream does not look like what I'm used to Slipstream looking like because I think he usually has a mustache. But again, that's going on what he looked like in 1987 and not um, what he looks like, quote, today. So then, here's Ace. And Ace is the pilot that most people know being um, the G.I. Joe pilot. One thing they did not do, in my opinion, well with him is his um, midsection is so small compared to the size of his legs. But, you know, maybe there are some um, real-life humans that are that way. But that's one big complaint a lot of G.I. Joe collectors have with this era of um, figures um, is that the proportions just weren't always right. I mean, his shoulders are huge, his legs are long, and his torso just looks so much smaller because of um, those proportions. And then his mask also goes in a little hole right there, but it's a little bit more elephant looking. You know, it's nice and big, so I'm not sure why they had to do it like that, but Anyway, let's try and take off his helmet and try and get you a look of um, what he looks like. So there is Ace. And again, yeah, I think he looks a little bit closer to what Ace um, looks like in the um, early 80s. But Anyway, that was my video for the Tiger Hawk. Um, so, if you're not able to find the big father, um, Thundering, right there, then there's the quote, son, right here. Now, I actually should show you on the side of the cockpit. So, it's actually pretty nice. You know, it's got two little joysticks that you can kind of imagine. Um, him having a hand on each one, and each time he pulls one and pours, pulls the other, um, it turns him in that um, barrel that he does. Um, and the other thing, too, that I can point out is that those stickers are on there pretty nice. No, I can't take credit for putting those stickers on there. Um, unlike in the 80s when most of these vehicles had to be put together and the stickers had to be put on and, you know, all some assembly and everything, with um, today's kids, I don't know, Hasbro seems to think that kids wouldn't want to take the time to put their own stickers on and put a vehicle together or be able to. So a lot of these things get a little more expensive because they already have the labels and are already put together. Anyway, that's the video for the Tiger Hawk.